Hello guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we're going to show you how to add charts and graphs to Wix. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. So adding charts and graphs to Wix is actually pretty easy. So what we need to do first is we need to go to our Wix account. So go to Wix.com, log in into our account and open up the website that you want to add your graphs or charts. In this case, go ahead and click on the edit side, which is located at the top right of your screen. And that should actually open up a new tab, which in this case, you should be able to see your editor. So in this case, what we need to do next is we need to add an app. So go ahead and click on the add app section at the left panel here. And you need to look for the specific app here, which in this case, you could just type in charts here. Just press on enter. And from here, look for the common ninja and charts uh, application. In this case, go ahead and click on it and add this into your website. Now, once you've done that, we are now ready to start using it. In this case, go to the manage apps at the bottom section of your screen. And from here, you should be able to see the common ninja charts and graphs. In this case, go ahead and click on the open button here. And from here, this should actually open up a section where in this case, you'll be able to start using that specific chart. But in this case, sometimes if this is the second time that you're using this application here, the chart option might not appear here. So in this case, what we need to do is we just need to go to the My Business section here. And, oh, sorry, the Apps section here. And in this case, you just need to go to App Market. In this case, you will go ahead and ch just type in Charts again. And from here, go to Common Ninja again. And from here, just click on the button that says Add Again. Now, in this case, it's going to add this specific chart in this section here. Now, if you want to change this, you could go to the settings section here. And from here, you could go in and select a chart that you have recently added. Now, if you don't have one, you could go to your dashboard. Just click on the button that says go to dashboard. And this will, this will redirect you to your dashboard, which in this case, you'll be able to start editing your charts for your account. Now, in this case, if you want to create a new widget here, just go ahead and click on create widget. And from here, choose the format or what type of data you want to showcase here. Even change the uh, basics, like for example, the color, even the settings on it, and even integrations if you want to. In this case, go ahead and do that, add a name on it. And once you've done that, just reload this page here and select the chart that you want to use. So maybe I want to use this already existing chart that I have right now. Just click on select. And it, as you can see, I actually created a pie chart here. And yeah, so that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.